Hello everyone, my name is Devangi Pal. I hope you all saw my previous video regarding computer organization and logic gates. Let's just quickly go through those topics. Firstly, we have seen what is computer organization and what is computer architecture. Computer organization deals with how a particular hardware work in the computer whereas computer architecture deal with how to design a circuit for such hardware. Then we have seen what is logic gates. So logic gate is electronic device which implements a boolean function. Logic gates are mostly used in digital watch, computers and mainly in the calculator to perform various arithmetic tasks. We have also seen different type of logic gates with their symbols, algebraic function and truth table. In this video, I am going to discuss the two topic of computer architecture. First one is Boolean algebra and second one is combinational circuit. In combinational circuit, we are going to cover half adder and full adder. Let's start with Boolean algebra. Boolean algebra is a theoretical foundation for any digital system. It deals with operation on logical values with binary number. In Boolean algebra, we can use the letters like A, B, X and Y as variable. But we can also use other letter for declaring the variable. In Boolean algebra, we are going to use three basic operation. First one is and operation, second is or operation and third one is complement. To express boolean algebra, we can use binary variables, logical operation symbols, parentheses and equal sign. Boolean algebra is used to design logical circuit and analyze those circuit. The mostly use of boolean algebra is to simplify the logical circuit. Let's understand Boolean algebra with one example. So here is the Boolean algebra where f generates the output by x with addition to y dash into z. To create the table for this Boolean function, firstly we have to create the logical circuit for this Boolean function. So for drawing this Boolean function into logical circuit we have to analyze what are the inputs and output are there in this function. So generally in boolean algebra the output we have to write in left hand side and input as a right hand side. So x, y and z three inputs are there. To draw the logical circuit for this boolean function firstly we have to analyze which of the gates we have to draw. So here we have shown this first part and second part. In this part directly x we have to give on to the output. So x I have directly given to the output. Between these two part the addition is performed. So for the addition we know that there is a logical and sorry logical or operation are there. So I have draw the OR gate. In the second part we show Y dash dot Z dot means logical multiplication. For multiplication we already know that we have to draw the AND circuit. So I have drawn the AND circuit. The Y input is directly given to the AND circuit but Y is given as a complement. So for complementing the Y we have to draw the NOT circuit. Now the output of y is y dash and y dash is given to this end circuit. Now let try to draw the truth table for this. So the truth table represents the relation between function and its binary variables. To represent a function in truth table we need to list true raised to n combination of n binary variables. So here in this function we have n is equal to 3. 3 inputs are there. So we have to draw the truth table for 3 variables. So to draw the truth table for 3 variables in the x 
uh, input we have to write 4 times 0 then 4 times 1. In the y we can write 2 times 0 and 2 times 1 then again 2 times 0 and 2 times 1. In z we have to write 1 times 0 then 1 times 1. Likewise that we have to fill this y series. Now let understand how the f will going to generate the output. For that first input is x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0 and z is also 0. So here firstly this is the NOT gate. So the output will be inverse. So here input is 0 we will get the output 1 here in the AND gate 2 inputs are 0 and 1 so 2 inputs are 0 and 1 in the AND gate we know that 0 into 1 is equal to 0 so here 1 input is 0 and second input is also 0 so in logical OR gate the output of 0 plus 0 is also 0. So we get the output 0. Likewise that we have to create the table for all this combination. Now we will see different law of boolean algebra which is used to simplify the logical circuit. First one is commutative law. It states that interchanging in order of operands in Boolean algebra does not change its result. For example, in all operation A plus B is the same as B plus A. And in AND operation A star B is also same as B star A. Next one is associative law. It states that AND operations are done between two or more variables. Third law is distributive law. It states that multiplication of two variables and adding the result with variable in same value as multiplication of addition of the variable with individual variables. Our next law states that if we multiply 0 with any variable we will get 0 and if we addition any variable with 1 we got 1 as output. Next law is identity law. It states that if any variable is multiplied with 1 we got the variable itself and if we addition any variable with 0 then we will got the variable itself. Next law state that a plus a is again a and a dot a is again a. Next one is complement law. It state that 0 plus a dash is equal to 1 a dash into a is equal to 0. Let's understand with one example. So here in the place of a we write 0 plus a dash means inverse of 0 it means 1. So 0 plus 1 in binary operation the output will be 1. In the second rule 0 into 1 will result into 0. So we got the 0 output. Next rule is double negotiation rule. It states that if we double complement the number then it will result the variable alone. So let understand this with one example. Here we have to do double complement. So one value is 0. First bar we have to do one time bar. So output will be opposite to the input. So output will be 1. Then again we have to do second time bar. So output will be 0. So it is the same as input. 
Our next draw is absorption law. It means A dot A plus B is equal to A and A plus A into B is 0. If you don't understand any of this rule, just put 0 and 1 and check the output. Our next and most important law of Boolean algebra is B. Morgan's law which is based on the concept of duality. Duality states that interchanging the operands and variables in the function such as replacing 0 and one with 1 and 1 with 0 and AND operation with OR operation AND OR operation with AND operation will result into same. It helps us in solving algebraic problem in digital electronics. Let understand this function first statement a dot b bar is equal to a dash plus b bar. So I can say that the complement of complement of two variable is equal to sum of complement of individual variables. Second law is a plus b bar is equal to a dash into b dash. The complement of sum of two variable is equal to the product of the complement of each variable. This is the summary table for basic rule of Boolean algebra. We need to remember all this rule for simplifies the logical circuit. The most important uh, rule is De Morgan's rule. We need to remember this also. Second topic of today's video is combinational circuit. Generally, digital circuits are basically divided into two parts. First one is combinational circuit and second one is sequential circuit. The example of sequential circuit are encoder, decoder, multiplexer and demultiplexer. All these circuits we are going to cover in the upcoming video. But right now we need to concentrate on characteristic of combinational circuit. So first uh, feature or yeah, characteristic of combinational circuit is it is uh, the output of combinational circuit is depend upon only present input terminal and second one is the combinational circuit do not use any memory. The block diagram for combinational circuit is right here. So here n binary input variable are coming from some of the external sources and m binary output variable is going to uh, some external destination between this uh, combinational circuit are there combinational circuit is interconnection of logical gates. Now I am going to discuss the half idle circuit. Half adder is a one kind of combinational circuit which have two inputs and it will generate the two output. Two output will be like S, S for sum and C for carry. Half adder circuit is used to add two single bit binary number A and B. This is the block diagram for half adder in which we saw that this is the two input A and B. By using the half adder circuit, we generate the output as sum and carry. Now we will see logic diagram for half adder circuit. To draw the logic diagram for half adder circuit, firstly we have to create the truth table for that. From the truth table, we have to generate the boolean function for that and from the boolean function, we are going to draw the logical diagram. So here, to create the boolean table, we know that we have to write input and output for this. So as input, as I said, in the half header, there are two input are there and two output are there. So A and B are there, two inputs. So, there are 2 raised to 2 equal to 4 possible combinations are there for input. So, in A series, we have to write 2 times 0 and 2 times 1. Then, for B, 1 times 0, 
and one time one and then one time zero and one time one so here is the input combinations and for output sum and carry so in sum part we will store the least significant output of a and b here a and b will perform the addition of two binary values for example a plus b our first value is 0 plus plus 0 so in binary arithmetic 0 plus 0 it will give 0 here both sum and carry is 0 our second input is a is 0 and again b is 1 so binary addition of these two variable is 1 so as a sum we are going to we are going to write 1 and for carry again 0 now our third variables are 1 and 0 so the output is 1 again so sum is 1 and carry is again 0 in the last condition only in 1 plus 1 the 1 plus 1 in binary the output is 1 0 so the least significant bit of this addition will be stored as sum and this other bit is stored as carry so in the last condition only where both input a and b is 1 we get our carry as output so now let's draw the boolean function for half adder so for draw the boolean function for sum we have to analyze where one we got the output so for this we can show that here in this two condition we got the sum one so for writing the boolean function in the boolean function zero will be treated as a and zero will be treated as a bar so for these two condition we have to write the boolean expression so s is equal to here a and b is a is 0 and b is 1 so here b is 1 and a is 0 so we have to write a bar b our second condition is a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 0 so we have to write a plus b in both this condition we got the sum generated so we need to addition these two part so it is just similar like x or gate so we can say that s is equal to a x or b now let's generate the equation for carry so in the carry we got only one output where both a and b is 1 so here a is 1 b is 1 so c is equal to a into b so our a boolean function for carry is a is equal to 1 into b now let's draw the logical diagram from these two equation so in these two equation we know that there is two output s and c second one is two inputs are there a and b a and b sum is uh, just exactly same as xor gate so here i have drawn xor gate for sum and the carry is same as logical and operation so i have draw the logical and operation for carry for both these gate we have to give the input a and b so i have draw a and b same for sum and carry 